Today we are showing you what it's like to fire artillery. Let's go check it out. Fight, fight. What are, we, uh, what are we doing this morning? We're just doing some uh, pre-fires on the guns uh, just to make sure they're safe to fire before we take them out field. I'm going out today to mark some targets uh, for our shoot tomorrow, which should be a good one. Yeah, how many rounds are we going to expect to shoot tomorrow? Uh, 200 rounds tomorrow, I think. Well, it should be pretty good. Yeah, it should be good. Step up for the next stage. The next stage is a deliberate secret clearance from this line here to this line here. Well, it's just going to take hours. So Dan, uh, how long you been in for? Uh, three years. Is, is it a job that's worth joining? It's pretty like busy uh, when we go outfield, but there's always constant work to do. Um, and it's always good fun uh, sending rounds and especially seeing the impacts too. Um, so I like it. All right, well, uh, I'm going to get you to show me around while we're out there. So easy. Let's go check it out. <laughs> Cheers. Uh, so we're just currently um, at the ammunition bay. We're just picking up our rounds, uh, our fuse and our charges. What are we firing off today? Uh, so we're currently firing the uh, M107 deep cavity lock. Uh, with Fuse uh, M739 up to 1. They're heavy, but you get used to it. Yeah. You get used to it for sure. There's a lot of hard physical training, um, and it definitely prepares you for the job. Just the usual in Pakapanyu. Just months of rain, just makes everything soft. All right, let's go. Yep. Two break off. Go all right. Oh, yeah. Keep going, keep going, keep going. <laughs> slow it, slow it, slow it. 100 mil, hold. Can't just drag it out. Uh, right now we're just waiting so we can do side data, send it up to the CP uh, and then from there they can calculate missions and we won't be crested so firing into uh, any obstacles or anything. So you've got a 10mm tolerance left and right so it's accurate. Just so you don't have to speech it through missions and stuff. So you're going to be pretty physically fit for artillery, eh? Yeah, you get a bit rough sometimes. <laughs> so yeah, you guys are all running around, digging, and yeah, it's pretty dynamic. Yeah, especially like this too, like in these situations, or like everyone has to go and help everyone because uh, there's not too many people per detachment. So when you get stuck in the mud, it gets pretty heavy. And then there's times where we're just sitting around doing nothing as well? Exactly. Uh, but when we're working, we're, we're pretty much working. <laughs> Can you go forward a little bit? Still good, man. Our little ammunition's up the top there, just on our flat rack. Why, why did you leave it up there? Uh, just because of the conditions that we are in. Um, really muddy environment, so our trucks and stuff were getting bogged. Uh, so unfortunately that just means uh, we just use our manpower and we had to carry all our bombs down, uh, bring them all down here this morning. You want to carry one, sir? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> is, there a, is there a correct method of picking them up? Yeah, so you want to squat when you pick it up. So you don't want to pick it up using your lower back. So you just, you just mess up your back, because how many we how many we lift and carry just continuously, you just keep using your back, you just kind of throw your back out. The best way is to squat down, put your hand onto the base, and just pick it up. Is there any way they can explode by just dropping them at your feet? Uh, no, uh, no way they're current pulled, because uh, they're not fused, so they're technically not fast as live. Um, but once they have a fuse on them, which you would have seen in the little green twist caps on the top, um, that means they're live and um, they have a zero meter drop height. So they're the ones we can do with care. Uh, but these ones, to drag in the job done. Just the big heavyweight. The big heavyweight. <laughs> uh, so we're expecting to do two fire plans today. Uh, so it should be a few rounds fire for effect, followed by continuous fire 
where we'll fire rounds continuously every 30 seconds, 60 seconds, um, and it should be a pretty good time. Behind the scenes here, what have we got uh, on display? So here we've got our charges. So we're gonna use these to propel the rounds to come out of the barrel. We've got all our bombs fused up over there. Are those caps just for transport? They just do nothing else? Yep. Um, so we can hook in, and they can be lifted by other equipment. Chucked all our fuses on. Um, yeah, we're pretty much ready to go for the fight. So there's point detonation, there's uh, delay. It's also super quick, which is pretty much just point detonation anyway. You got variable time. Yeah, you got a whole heap of. Can, that, can you set it so it'll explode in the air? Yeah, yeah. So that'll be uh, variable time fuses. So you'll set it to a specific time according to the time of flight where it'll just explode maybe like 10 meters above the target. And work, come on, gun suck off, team, let's go! Two all going. Five rounds, five for a second, all bike, use fire, and three zero seconds. Hey! Point One more! Get ready, he's gonna be another one. Hey, what does the swab do? So swab cools down the barrel so it doesn't get any leftover flames. That is in the chamber of the M777-2. Five rounds, five for effect, followed by continuous fire, a three-zero second. One more! So I'm going to uh, open and close the breech using this handle. From there, I will then prime and extract, um, extract primers, allowing the primers to be fed into the chamber. From there, when the round fires, I then open the breech, swab it to uh, remove the residual heat within, uh, within the chamber. Then from there, get my charge. I'll put the charge on the loading tray, put it into the chamber, clear. Then I'll open the loading tray, I'll close the breech and prime it. Get some water, dump it port, you're gonna start ramming. Yep. How many rounds did you just fire? Uh, 25, got 25 then with um, five rounds, five for effect, continuous fire, three zero second rounds. So what we'll do now is we'll refurb all of the equipment. Um, we'll get all the bombs back onto the trucks, strap them down. We're gonna make sure we've got all our controlled stores, our uh, equipment that we are necessarily need to fight. Uh, get them back all onto the trucks. We'll take them back, give them a quick wash down and then make sure we got everything back at the unit. And then from there, it'll just be maintenance till the next field trip. Uh, thanks for following us around for a day on the gun line. I uh, really hope you've enjoyed it. My name is Dan and it's been great to have you along for the ride. <laughs>